Good everyone, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Uh, so today I will be starting a new uh, certification series that's Experience Cloud Consultant. Um, and as usual, today I will be talking about exam guides and whether you should go for this certification or not. Um, so before I even dive into the exam guide, just wanted to mention that you got to have admin certification as a prerequisite. That's pretty uh, important in my opinion because you cannot do this certification without having uh, some understanding of Salesforce platform because um, this is not a beginner level certification, right? And uh, now uh, to do this certification or not, if you ask my personal opinion, I believe uh, this is a pretty amazing certification because most of the companies are using Experience Cloud. It's a better way to give access to your user and uh, to your end user. You don't want to give access to uh, the Salesforce org directly. Um, and most of the companies, they are using this uh, Experience Cloud, you know, to build a site and then giving uh, access to the, to the partners or customers or whatever, right? Um, so I personally believe that this is a pretty amazing certification. I do understand that, you know, I do get a lot of questions sometimes, right? What certification should I go for? Um, to be honest, you know, I honestly don't have answer to that question because for me, uh, you know, more than certification is the experience that counts. Now, I do understand if you're starting out for the first time, you must be nervous. You must be thinking, "Hey, I don't have experience, so I might as well get certification," which is great. I mean, I'm not, I'm not saying you should not go and get the, the certification, but just doing certification, as I always say, for the sake of certification, is it's just not great, right? Because it costs you money, and I and you know, the Salesforce is in business of um, generating money, so their certification industry is a billion dollar market right and they come up with every you know now certification which honestly makes no sense to me like their the recent one something to do with uh some a beginner level certification right uh i didn't even bother to look at it because a couple of few of the guys in my work have done it and i you know i it does not add any value to to people who are experienced. And they say we wanted to make you guys excited to get into uh, Salesforce certification. That's why they have admin cert. Admin does a pretty good job, in my opinion. It covers a lot of things. And then we have this uh, another rubbish certification, Omni Studio. Omni Studio is it's just one of the biggest scam, in my opinion, right? I will put this out there. I honestly don't care what anyone thinks. Omni Studio Consultant is just a rubbish certification because they have Omni Studio Developer and Omni Studio Consultant, right? If you look at the topics, it's pretty much the same. It's just a way, it's just a way of making money. I mean, I do understand that Salesforce isn't a business to make money, but you know, as a as a customer, right, I don't value that certificate whatsoever. And I've seen people taking Omni Studio certification and and then the struggle to build the damn Omni Studio component, right? What's the point? Yeah, that's what I don't understand. You know, having a certification and not able to do things, that's just like making a mockery of it, right? So if you wanted to take Experience Cloud certification, uh, I would highly encourage you, first you guys should have some uh, hands on, like at least, you know, four to six months of experience. Uh, without that, I will not encourage you to go for the certification because if you wanted to do it just because someone else is doing it and, and you realize you won't be working on it, then it's pointless. You might ask, because what happens, you will go and take it, you will read about it and you'll get, take it and then you'll forget about it. Then it's the whole process you have to repeat, right? So I'm not, I'm not ranting here. I'm not, my, that's not my intention, but I just wanted to tell you guys that, right? Just because, you know, Salesforce launching so many certification, it, does not mean that you have to just go and take it. It costs money, right? Unless someone paying for it, go for it, right? Then who cares? But still, right, I, I still believe some of the certifications. Another one, JavaScript. If I wanted to take JavaScript, right, I might as well go and look for a different vendor, right? Uh, so, for instance, uh, there are a couple of JavaScript stuff out there. Look at the React stuff, right? Look at the Angular stuff, right? Uh, if I wanted to learn JavaScript just for LWC, right, I would look at the, the entire JavaScript documentation what's out there, and I don't need a certification for it. So, yeah, that's that's one of the reasons why I'm saying a lot of the things that Salesforce comes up I just don't make any sense to me. But that being said, this is a pretty amazing certification, right? So I will not say anything bad about this one because this is a pretty, pretty amazing one. Okay, so let's get started. 
Okay, so uh, this is exam guy, right? So this is uh, 22 release, summer 22 release. Uh, it might change depending upon the time of the year you're viewing this uh, course. But that being said, I often upgrade it, so don't worry about it. Okay? So for now, for summer 2022, this is the one, right? Okay, <clears throat> now, uh, as I said, right, uh, to before you go and take this certification, right, you need to have at least, you know, a few months of, at least six months of experience uh, building experience cloud sites and, and implementing stuff, <clears throat> right? Uh, and this certification is suited for technical architects, consultant, functional consultant, for that matter. Uh, administrator can do it, you know, um, uh, experienced designers. Uh, I don't know why they're talking about delivery managers and directors. I honestly, I mean, I've seen, I mean, my boss, he's a, he's a partner. He, he, he's pretty hands-on, but at the same time, not every, every, you know, director or their hands-on. So, so yeah, I mean, this, this line is pretty, uh, anyways, right? Okay, move on. All right. Now, the things you two will learn, you know, from the certification, right? You will know how to enable digital experience. You will know uh, which uh, external user license to use. Uh, you will know how to create and manage topics, which is pretty important in my opinion. Create sharing sets. This is pretty, pretty important topic. Uh, set the right visibility, user visibility for a, a given use case. This is pretty cool. Uh, assign knowledge articles to topics. Create and manage topics, as we already discussed. Uh, configure uh, self-registration, configure single sign-on, pretty important topic. Um, set up channel sales, um, analyze usage, like the page views, etc. Uh, configure workspace, um, describe article channels, uh, describe how to create a public site. A lot of things we got to cover, right? And that's why I said this certification is pretty amazing because you learn a lot of things and it's useful. Right, because you might get an opportunity uh, to build a uh, you know experience cloud uh, website, which is pretty cool, and you might need to consider a lot of things, right? Okay, <clears throat> um, so uh, single sign-on. Um, they said you you know they don't really test your knowledge on SEO kind of stuff and setting up a personal account, but it's good to know, right? That's why I said it's good to have uh, some understanding. Uh, of Salesforce platform, okay? Right, so if you are going to take this certification, they will not quiz you on HTML, CSS, Experience Service Cloud, uh, because it's not a Service Cloud certification. Um, implementation of knowledge, you don't have to worry about it, training of users, all this stuff, you don't really need to worry, okay? Now, coming to exam, you know, some housekeeping. As usual, uh, you know, uh, this certification comprises of 16 multiple choice uh, questions or multi select. Um, and the passing score is 65, which is pretty good, right? And you pay 200 bucks, 200 USD, uh, plus tax as required as per local draw. Yeah, and then if you fail for whatever reason, you, you pay 100 bucks to retake it. I'm talking in USD, right? Because I don't live in the United States, I live in New Zealand, so for us, uh, the price will be a bit higher, but that's all right. <laughs> yeah. um, so, um, prerequisite, as you know, you need to uh, have an admin certification before. Uh, now, you can go to a uh, test center to take it, or you can take it from home. I prefer to take it from home. It's a matter of convenience, so if you find it easy to take uh, at home, <clears throat> you can do that at home, or if you're someone who likes to go to test center to take it, uh, that's pretty good as well, right? I mean, it depends. So, yeah, that's that's in terms of the basic understanding of what the exam looks like. Now, let's talk about the weightage, right? You need to know uh, the percentage associated with each topic, okay? So, the first one, experience cloud basics, okay, 8%. Right, that's the weightage. So it, you you know you need to know how to, the to identify most common personas for experience cloud. Personas are very important, guys. You know I I can't emphasize enough. It's really important even in your real life implementation. It's very very important to understand it. Right, um, 
apply features and functions of workspace for building an experience. That's another thing you should know, right? Access the common types of external accounts and how they are used in experience. That's you know, a few things you should know, right? <clears throat> we'll, we'll cover all of this. Just don't worry about it. Sharing visibility and licensing. So if you're someone who's done the sharing visibility uh, architects certification, uh, it's a pretty sweet deal for you. I mean, you will nail this part pretty in a, a pretty easy way. <clears throat> okay, so you need to work about the scenario, set the correct user visibility and experience, uh, <clears throat> set the correct object visibility and experience, uh, recommend the declarative sharing option that should be leveraged for an experience, right? <clears throat> Sorry, I got a bad throat. My apologies. <clears throat> um, modify an experience with experience uh, builder. That's the branding personality branding personal personalization and content that's 15 percent uh explain the capabilities of search within an experience so this is a 15 percent right so we will look at all of this right so don't worry about it <clears throat> templates and themes 10 percent user creation uh and authentication 13 percent uh adoption and analytics five percent administration setup and configuration 25 percent because that's where a lot of your time will be spent if you're dealing with experience cloud so you should know this part very well <clears throat> uh, customization consideration and limitation right obviously you need to know why you should and shouldn't be recommending experience cloud okay all right <clears throat> so that's the exam outline I hope that's clear um, now I will talk about the topics which we'll be covering obviously I'll be ta uh, teaching you guys from trailhead and we'll be using some of the materials from here and there <clears throat> and some real life experience okay so we talk about we're going to talk about experience cloud basics uh ux personas for salesforce then search basics uh then you know set up salesforce knowledge uh crm data with your partners data security pretty basic right you might have studied about this before uh, Salesforce CMS basics. We're going to talk about it. Um, lighting bulb for Salesforce. Build one, then distribute and reuse. That's another one. <clears throat> uh, create experience cloud side users. So a lot of things we got to cover. So uh, I think this is the last certification uh, course I'll be doing this year in terms of free. <clears throat> Obviously, I'm working on my sharing stuff. Uh, it's just that I need to do a few things, so it will be ready soon, right? If you guys are waiting for it. And that's not free one, right? Because I do understand people reach out to me saying, hey, can you give discount? I said, well, my courses are priced pretty low, right? And I give most of the certification uh, for free. And if you go to a training center to take a course, like for instance, in New Zealand, two days will charge you 2,000 bucks, right? So to compare to 2,000, 35 bucks is not a, it's, 35 to 40 bucks, right, for a cert. It's not a big thing, right? Plus, you get lifetime access. So I, I personally believe that if you can't afford it, then I'm afraid you are in the wrong industry, my friend. I mean, then probably, uh, you know, you can learn from the trailhead then if you can't afford it. So that's, that's the only thing I could say. So that being said, I hope you guys have an amazing um, day. And, uh, and I'll be covering a lot of, Contents and, I, and I, I, I promise you guys, I'll be regular, right? A lot of things going on in my life because we're busy, uh, you know, working on a, uh, as I said, I'm working on a virtual reality project that's going very well. Um, I'm working on my training stuff that's going well. I'm working uh, contract work that's going well. Uh, I'm helping my mates with the nanotech project that's going well. Uh, and then I got some real estate stuff going on. That's going well as well. So pretty busy. So yeah, so that's the reason why I don't often get time to make free course, but I try my best, right? Because I find that teaching someone is the best thing to do. So yeah. So that being said, uh, have a great day. Adios.